Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I haven't lived in a culture that celebrated Thanksgiving. So all I know comes from movies and TV series. A combination of stereotypes about going around the table and giving thanks for the many blessings we have. While eating enormous quantities of rich food and trying to get along with your family without any major drama by the time you get to the pumpkin pie. <laughs> the whole concept seems foreign and funny. Yet I cannot deny the value of the concept of giving thanks. And since November is the self-proclaimed month of non-fiction, I've decided to start a tradition of my own. And give thanks here on this channel for books that have had a significant impact on my well-being this past year. One of my constant inspirations for the last five years has been Deepak Chopra. His unique blend of analytical thinking applied to the spiritual and metaphysical world never ceases to amaze me. I understood Ayurveda thanks to him, I deepened my meditation practice with his programs, and now, with his latest book, Metahuman, I have picked through the keyhole of the infinite human potential. At first, I felt small and dumb. I said to myself, this is not what I was looking for. I don't feel better, I just feel confused. But luckily, the trust I already had in Deepak's vision made me go on. And then, someone turned on the lights. One of the chapters is called Meta-reality offers absolute freedom. After having read that, I can wholeheartedly say I am thankful for Deepak Chopra and his ability to put into words the fascinating balance of our existence. A classic among creatives, Julia Cameron's best-selling book, The Artist's Way, is one of the most helpful reads you could have as a creative. And according to her, we are all creative beings. Some of us just don't know it yet. It's a course in discovering and recovering your creative self with well-explained principles and incredibly helpful exercises or tasks meant to get you going when you feel stuck. It's organized as a 12-week program, so don't try and rush it by reading everything in a day. Trust the process, do the work, and you'll have plenty of reasons to be thankful for. With a different approach and unmistakable unique voice, 
Liz Gilbert's Big Magic is a regular on my nightstand. Reading Big Magic feels like a conversation with a best friend. It doesn't judge your fears or blockages. It doesn't give you infinite to-do lists. It's just there, making you feel comfortable enough to face your demons and get over whatever toxic thought got in the way of you revealing your true self. The book is a vulnerable, honest, true story of her own becoming, and it's an inspiration for us all. Thank you. This one got me with the subtitle, The Power of Introverts in a World That Can't Stop Talking. It is a well-researched book that tackles uncomfortable subjects with scientific precision. It made me feel like less of a freak for not living or aspiring to live like the people around me. Especially during a pandemic and lockdowns, when all I heard was that I should be terribly sad for being alone. There is one phrase in the conclusion that I found exceptional. Love is essential. Gregariousness is optional. So thank you, Susan Cain. You have helped me in my journey to freedom. precious guide for all those who feel life has ended with the first September rain. Catherine May's Wintering is one of those books that take you by the hand and make sure you get on the other side in one piece. The cold months are there for a reason. We all know it on some level. But just as tomatoes are found all year long in the supermarket, the modern way of living convinced us we should perform just the same as we do in June, without listening to our physical and spiritual needs, or even think they could be different from one season to another. It's called the power of rest and retreat in difficult times, and I'm thankful for having read it. My bonus book is Katie Brindle's Yang Sheng, The Art of Chinese Self-Healing. If you don't know Katie Brindle, then pause this video and go follow her on Instagram. She's an incredibly charismatic Chinese medicine practitioner, teacher of Qigong and inspiration for modern day well-being. The book takes you through the basic principles, describes everyday practices for an improved quality of life, and helps you manage the seasonal changes that influence our well-being.
Katie Brindle's teachings have had a huge impact on my healthy decisions this year, and I am deeply grateful for her book and her online presence. The thing with rituals is that you start off feeling a bit ridiculous, and in the end, with no possible explanation, you just feel better. I quite enjoyed the first edition of my newly invented Thanksgiving ritual, and I hope you found some inspiration for non-fiction books to add in your letter to Santa. Until next time, enjoy your reading and your rituals.